Hi, this is Ben from BuildCalc, and welcome to the first in a series of videos about using BuildCalc to make your construction math easier. Today's topic, fractional foot inch math. Several times I've been asked, how does BuildCalc do fractional math? Well today, I will take you through the basics and get you off to a great start. So the first thing we do before we go to our first example is actually launch BuildCalc. Here on the iPhone simulator, I've got the springboard. I'm going to go ahead and scroll the springboard over, and there's Bill Calc. I'll tap once. Now at the start screen, I'm ready to do my first calculation. In this first example, what I'm going to do is take a length, and we'll divide it in equal sections. So for whatever reason, let's say we have a room that's 13 feet, 6 and 3 quarter inches long. Now that's a nice fractional inch value, and what we're going to do is divided by 5, so we can create 5 equal sections. Let's first center that 13 feet, 6 and 3 quarter inches. That's 1, 3 feet, so we entered whole feet, 6 inches, whole inches, 3 slash quarter. So 13 feet, 6 and 3 quarter inches allows us to enter our fractional foot inch value. Now to do the arithmetic, we'll divide it by 5. Divide by 5 equals 2 feet 8 and 9 16 inches. So there you learned how to enter a fractional foot inch value and you just saw a little bit of arithmetic on that value. Now the second example what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at a cubic yard of concrete and figure out how long of a sidewalk could we pour with that one cubic yard of concrete. In this example let's assume that the depth of the sidewalk is 5 inches and the width is 3 feet. So let's go ahead and try that out. Clear the display. First, we'll enter the one cubic yard of concrete. One, yards, yards, yards. So there you go. We hit it three times. The first time was for a linear yard. The second time was for a square yard. And the third time was for a cubic yard. Now that we've got that in, let's divide it by the depth. Divide by five inches. And then we'll divide again by the width. Divide by three inches feet equals. So our one yard of concrete will give us a sidewalk 21.6 feet long. Now that's not a fractional foot inch result. So how would we get that? Pretty simple. We tap the foot key once and there you go. We've got 21 feet 7 and 3 16 inches this time. Now let's say we wanted that in actual fractional, fractional inches instead of feet inches we would tap the inch key once. Tap the inch key again a second time, we toggle back to decimal and back to inches. Feet and toggle, toggle. And with build calc, you can do this with the yards too. Yards, yards, and you toggle back and forth. Let's go back to inches, inches, okay. Now, looking at this result, 259 and 3 16 inches, you may not want to be working in sixteenths. You could want a lower denominator, like quarter inches, or a higher denominator, like sixty-fourths of an inch. Well, Bill Calc will allow you to switch back and forth. And there's two ways to do that. Probably the simplest way is just to convert your result. So let's try that. Convert, and where the four key is, we can do quarter inches. So now it's two fifty-nine and a quarter inch. Let's try a couple other examples. Convert. And where the 6 key was, 60 fourths. And then last, convert. And where the 3 key was, 30 seconds. Ah, but this isn't in 30 seconds in the denominator, it's 16 Well, why is that? Well, in Bill Calc, it does a second calculation for you automatically. If you had a number, in this case, 6 30 seconds, the lowest common denominator of that number would be 3 16 well, Bill Calc automatically does that, so it presents a number that's probably more useful to you than seeing a result in 6, 30 seconds. All right, that describes fractional conversions. The second way in which you can get Bill Calc to give you results in a different denominator is actually to set Bill Calc so it always shows results in that different denominator. And that's done through the preferences. So we'll clear the display, and I'm going to go into preferences by convert, preferences, and down here towards the bottom is display formatting. And here we go, fractional resolution. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the help here just so you can see that. 
sets the resolution, which denominator round results for fractional values. By default, bill calc is 16ths. You can change that. In this case, I'll change it to 64ths. Done, done. And let's do that example again with the sidewalk a second time and see what happens now that we're using 64ths. So first, we'll start off with the one cubic yard. One yard, 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 divided by five inches, divided by three feet, equals, and then let's tap feet again. There you go. 21 feet, seven and 13 64ths inches. Just to test, let's convert it to 16ths. Convert, 16th, there you go, 3 sixteenths. Well, I hope this gets you off to a great start with BillCalc. If you want to learn more, go to BillCalc.com. And if you need help or see something that isn't quite right, send me an email to info at BillCalc.com. And thanks for your interest in learning about BillCalc. Have a great day.